Hey everyone, Mitch Kobe here for the Kamara Score Studio. Welcome to the show. So, I've got a bit of a weird episode for you today. Um, I'm, uh, well, I'll tell you who to blame here in a bit. You probably know already, but <laughs> yesterday I did an episode uh, that was titled Wizards, What Are You Doing? Uh, that basically kind of broke down some numbers that recently came out. Uh, thank you to uh, Magic Data Science on Twitter. Uh, basically, kind of posted, you know, different. Uh, card variation amounts that were printed last year, the number of new commanders, the number of words that were printed in rules text, uh, and the one, I mean, they all stuck out to me, uh, stood out to me, but the one that really stood out to me was the commanders debuted, which was 425, an absurd amount, more than one per day, and, uh, yeah, well, Mark Rosewater had this to say on blog talk about just the number of legendary creatures printed in a year, uh, someone said, basically, is there a limit to the number of legendary creatures printed in a year? I don't want more than 50 a year. Mark said there's no limit. Why so many? Read this blog. Players are constantly asking for specific commanders to play the niche strategy they enjoy. Um, okay, yeah. So Wizards kind of, as usual, seems to be like, oh, uh, anything, everything, all of the time. Yeah, let's make an absurd amount of products. We're not overprinting. No, no, no. Things are going fine. And so, yeah, yesterday I kind of broke down the numbers and talked about that. But you can blame Eddie for this episode because... Well, in this episode, um, yeah, things are going to get pretty crazy. Um, in this episode, we're going to play a little game that Eddie came up with uh, that uh, Eddie, of course, is just going to have me play because, you know, Eddie's mean like that. <laughs> so we're going to play a game, a, ri a ridiculous game that I'm absolutely going to fail. Essentially, the game is I'm going to put up every single commander from this year. And I did say 425, but actually that included uh, Arena Commanders uh, as well as uh, the Acorn Commanders too. Those are not going to be included on my list, or in backgrounds as well. Uh, those will not all be included on my list. So I think my amount is around like 336 or so, and I very well might have missed one or two or so because, well, when, you know, putting this together, yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot to put together uh, 300 Commanders and to memorize 300 Commanders uh, throughout the year and... I definitely didn't, um, yeah, I, I didn't do any kind of homework ahead of time, but yeah, basically, sorry, I'm getting around the point. The gist of the game is I'm going to put up every single commander that I uh, apparently put in this episode up for 10 seconds a piece, so over 300 commanders, all right? 10 seconds a piece, uh, their rules text uh, will be uh, blacked out on my screen. I'll give, show you an example here in a second, but yeah, you can see it yourself, or you know, you can play along with me if you want by kind of blocking it out. Uh, an example would be, let's see Atali Primal Storm. This out will appear on my screen. Atali obviously is going to come in from this year, 2022. But yeah, uh, I would say, um, you know, I'd have 10 seconds to basically give you the gist of the commander and be like, okay, Atali, um, yeah, when it attacks, uh, everyone exiles the top card of the library. You can cast uh, basically all those cards, essentially. Or maybe even it's play. I think it might be cast. Regardless, if I get close enough, giving myself credit for it. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm going to have to go back to see exactly how I did. You can see how, how I did as I went along, essentially, though. Uh, because, yeah, you'll be seeing this version of the card, the one that, you know, is uh, is not blacked out. So you can see exactly what the card does. You can see exactly how wrong I am. And, uh, yeah, this game is just kind of trying to, you know, just, um, I guess, show how ridiculous uh, this year has been in Magic. And, unfortunately, I don't think things are slowing down for next year. Uh, I mean, we went from, um, you know, a couple years ago from having, like, you know, around uh, 100 uh, commanders, essentially, in a year. 180, 190, and then this year, yeah, uh, again, uh, if we're counting all the Magic Arena, counting the, you know, uh, the Silver Border ones, yeah, 425. At the very least, you know, counting, you know, 330, which is still absurd, you know, going from that. Uh, regardless, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> 10 seconds per commander. Again, we're going to see how many I can get. Uh, I'm Magic Content Creator, obviously. I do this for a living, and I highly doubt I'm going to do all that well. <laughs> so, gonna get pretty crazy if you want to play along at home you're welcome to obviously you can probably just mute me and then just yeah just cover up the bottom of your screen so you can't see exactly what each of the commanders do or if you just want to see me fail that's fun as well um yeah i, I bet there's not a single person out there uh, not a single person uh, at wizards even that could name every single one of these commanders and what they do just the gist of it you don't have to give me exact just the gist of it there's no one, even at Wizards, I believe, that's going to get anywhere near 100% of this. Not even Mark Rosewater is going to get anywhere near 100% of this. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Wizards, slow down. Give 
people uh, uh, the amount that they can digest. Just, yeah, we're, uh, we're a bit in overload right now. Uh, yeah, uh, so um, this is the ridiculous nature of this year, apparently. Uh, this is where we're at. Blame Eddie for it. Oh, got my coffee ready. Got a backup water ready um, because I'm definitely going to be... Well, I'm actually probably just really quick. Oh, this is going to be like 55 minutes of uh, me failing. So here we go. Ready? Whew. Hitting the button on my end. Three, two, one. All right. Coyote Eye, Soul of Kamigawa. Um, enters the battlefield. I think you can make something indestructible as long as it's on the battlefield. And it's got like a Wooberg uh, plus five plus five. Uh, Sezrek, the Silent King, attacks Mill 3, get uh, a uh, artifact or vehicle, uh, artifact creature or vehicle into your hand out of them. Uh, Harbin um, attacks uh, with five or more creatures, like uh, your creatures get plus almost one and have flying, I think. Uh, close enough, maybe. Near a wild mage, oh gosh. Uh, cast a spell, you can put on the bottom of your library instead. Uh, when you do, you get something random off the top, basically. I don't think it has to equal the same. No, I think you're fine. Board tuck bone rattle. Something about domain. Something really bad about domain. Maybe getting something back out of your graveyard into play, I think. Yeah, two color commander with domain. Ew. Uh, Denry Clin, editor in chief. Um, this is the one that can be broken. Like you can uh, give a certain counter when they come into play. I think it's like a plus one plus one, so you can do it with persist. So either vigilance, maybe. Uh, light pause, auras. You cast an aura. You can go search your library for an aura and get it into play directly onto light pause. I think that's around what it is. A bad in the despoiler. Um, yeah, uh, you uh, have cascade with the cards in your hand. Uh, uh, less than the amount of damage you've dealt this turn, or uh, less than or equal to the amount of damage. Uh, Mishra, uh, on attack, um, you drain your opponents uh, based on the number of attacking creatures you have, essentially, each of your opponents. Uh, it can flip, but I don't have the other side on this. Nine Fingers Keen, all about gates. Um, yes, uh, you need nine gates or something like that. Uh, and something happens, something good happens, you get gates off the top. LSO Core, uh, basically like a blood artist, kind of, essentially. I think whenever creatures in a battlefield... New York control, you gain life. Creatures die, opponents lose life, something like that. Jolene, the Plunder Queen, treasures. Um, I think something about attacking, you're getting two treasures, your opponents get one. It's like whenever uh, your uh, creatures attack your opponents, they get, you get treasures. Uh, Norika, Yamaka, the poet, uh, Masaki, the poet. Um, I can't remember, this one's terrible. Something about attacking in, at Samurai's. Um, Quizzer, Greyfax. Uh, Creatures you control get plus one to zero and have vigilance, uh, and it can also tap down your opponent's creatures like one tap. Uh, you get a clue, I think. Uh, Mishra, Tamer of Makfawa. Uh, oh goodness, uh, artifacts in your graveyard have unearthed for like two or no one red black or something like that, something around that, I think. Uh, OG, the quiz exquisite blade, really bad. Um, enters scry to gain two life. Something else that's really bad? I don't know. This one was pretty terrible, I think. Uh, Urtai Resurrected. Oh, gosh. I should remember what this does. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. 100% blank on this. Coffee. Here we go. Oscar. Rubbish Reclaimer. Oh, goodness. This is getting worse. Something about Surveilling, I think? Oscar the Grouch. Uh, surveilling, maybe? Um, Go Shintai of Lost Wisdom. Okay, uh, number of shrines you control, mill someone maybe? Um, yeah, I think. Let's go with that. It's definitely a legendary shrine. Swarm Lord uh, enters uh, with two counters, essentially for each time it's been cast. Uh, whenever a creature you control, they counter on it dies, you draw a card. I think that one's pretty close. Uh, Queen, Caleb, and Krug. Uh, you can basically pay four, I think, tap, discard your hand, draw that many cards, and uh, you can get back some that's cost one, two, and three. Uh, Raga Draga, Gorgut's boss. Um, Mana Dork Commander, uh, your Mana Dork's uh, attack, or, uh, if you have a Mana Dork, it, it, it untaps or doesn't tap, uh, plus two, plus two. Uh, Garna, Blood Fist of Keld, uh, I should know what this one does, but I don't. Coffee. Okay, Cyrix, Carry of the Flame, cares about phoenixes in your, uh, cares about phoenixes, I mean, it helps get phoenixes out of your graveyard, I'm pretty sure, in some way, like a phoenix travel commander would. Jinkataxi is gross. Uh, doubles up your instant sorceries and artifacts, or at least the first thing you cast in the turn, I believe. Uh, and then does the exact opposite to your opponent. Essentially counters the very first one that any of your opponents use. Imitech the Stormlord. Um, whenever an artifact leaves your graveyard, you get two two twos. And then something else that's not all that good. Uh, I think plus two plus two to an artifact creature and vigilance. Tano Stormmaker. Um, doubles up birds and beasts. Essentially, you get a token copy. 
I think that's all this one does. I mean, it's great, but yeah, I mean, I think that's what that one does. Very specific. Raphael, Fina Savior, uh, Tribal for, oh gosh, Devils, Imps, and uh, Demons, I think. Plus one, plus one, Death Touch maybe for them. You make tokens too. Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief. Uh, whenever a spell, oh no, I should know this one. You target it, it targets something else, or you target something else, you target it. I can't remember. You, you can double on ores. Benny Brax cares about creature tokens. I think if like a creature token enters the battlefield, uh, you draw a card or something like that. So yeah, I think you can draw a card in every single turn because it counts any uh, turn, but limited to one. Kyrie Swirling Sky uh, doubles up on a death trigger, or you know, it's like choose. Uh, oh no. Uh, you can bounce things up to six, so you can get something back. Graveyard. Uh, Bellicor, Dark Master, or Demon Tribal enters the battlefield. Draw cards, uh, lose X life, make number of demons you control, and then also it's like a uh, uh, not impact tremors. Oh, Tuska, uh, Tokasa, uh, uh, Dig Site Mentor. Um, ooh, really weird, uh, like eggs activated ability from your graveyard to get all your artifacts back in a graveyard, I think, something like that. Uh, Rilsa Rail Kingpin. Nope, not sure. Coffee. Okay, uh, Jory Age is an innovator. I know this one. Uh, tap. Uh, gets like two innovation counters on it, and then you put an artifact from your hand into play equal to or less than number of innovation counters on it, I think, essentially. Yeah, probably. Mario the Killing Quill. Uh, assassins. Um, oh, gosh. Mercenaries and Rogues? Is that a tribal plus one plus one death touch for all of them? And, uh, okay, Reality Chip. Uh, essentially, if it's attached to a creature, you can play off the top of your library. You can look at the top of your library anytime. Uh, it's, it's got reconfigure. I can't remember if there's anything else to it, but yeah, basically that. Magus Lucia Kane, uh, X spells, uh, tabs for two mana in a combination of colors, essentially. Uh, when you're spending mana on X spells, you kind of like double them up, essentially, essentially ish. Urzlord Protector, oh goodness, artifacts, instants, and sorceries cost one less. And then you can also uh, flip it into the most ridiculous planeswalker ever if you've got the, you know, stones. Uh, Tasha the Witch Queen, um, eesh, uh, something about casting from uh, elsewhere. Uh, making demons. Joe to the Unifier. Um, yeah, uh, plus X plus X to all of your legendary creatures based on the number of legendary creatures you have in play. Basically, then Legendary Cascade 2. So, yeah, lots of good stuff. Vazi Keen, Negotiator, all about treasures. Essentially, I think it's like tap. You give an opponent the number of treasures that you've already made this turn, essentially, or something like that for yourself. Something along those lines. And then, like, uh, you get a benefit. Tameshi, Reality Architect. Uh, you can pay X and a white to bounce things back to your hand. Um, I can't remember if it's non-land permanence or I can't remember. Anyways, Marnius Calgar, uh, token enters the battlefield. You draw a card, I think, something like that, something ridiculous like that. Uh, and then yeah, pay six, make two two twos. So yeah, something like that. Urza, Prince of Krug, uh, pay six and make a copy of uh, any artifact it becomes a token creature, uh, one one, and then uh, all your artifact creatures get plus two plus two. I think. Thras uh, Thracus the Butcher uh, attacks double the power of your dragons. I think something like that, like dragon tribal, but on an attack trigger, I think. Uh, King Darien, uh, the 54th, I think, plus plus one of your tokens. You can also sacrifice to give your tokens Hexproof and Indestructible on a turn or something like that. You can also pay to make tokens and get counters on it. Shashiro the Shattered Blade, uh, cares about modified creatures. Something about uh, if you equip something or whatnot, you get like a 2-2 two -two of some sort, I think. Go Shit Dive, Hidden Cruelty, another shrine. Uh, this one... Gosh, uh, maybe makes players discard or lose life or exile graveyards. I don't remember. Okay. So, uh, Celestine, the Living Saint. This one's escaping me. Uh, I think there's some kind of card advantage in there. Mm. Not sure. Coffee. Uh, Liberator, Urza Battlethopter, uh, Flash, your artifacts or color spells have Flash. Uh, something else about making thopters i can't remember there's so many cards zevlar uh basically you can uh if an instant or sorcery is going to be targeting only one player you can triple it essentially or you know target the other players too with it so cruel to all everyone lagavos hand of hatred um yeah uh, you can tutor if five creatures have died essentially i think and you get a three one on every combat uh, Katori, Pilot Prodigy, uh, this one can pilot, I think, any vehicle or something like that, or has, like, an absurd crew cost, or can crew anything, and when you crew something, something good happens. Hitatsugu, uh, you can sacrifice creature to scry two, I think, and then also, like, pay three in a red or two in a red, tap, look at the top card of the library, and it deals damage to any target based on its CMC. Uh, Traveler, what do you do, Traveler? There were so many black commanders in your pre-con. I don't remember what you do. 
Abdel Adrian, this one's like uh, exile any number of permanents when it comes to flight non-land permanents, uh, and then uh, you get like a one-one soldier for each one that got exiled, or you know, and then when this leaves, uh, they come back. Uh, Captain, uh, horror tribal, some sort. Can't remember exactly what this one does. No people like the precon. Yeah. Marius Scholar of Antiquity, uh, non-token artifacts you control can tap for green, and you can also tap two of them, I think, to uh, exile the top party library, impulse draw, essentially. Uh, Kaima, Fractured Calm. Gosh, uh, something about getting counters on your phone's creatures and goading, maybe? Gosh, there's so many commanders. I forgot that this that was this year. Uh, Junji, the Midnight Sky. Um, yeah, this one is, uh, dies... I can't, it drains opponents, I think, or makes them discard. Luminary Cesarac, uh, sacrifice a creature, add the sacrifice creature or artifact, maybe add black uh, for the CMC, I think. Yeah. Uh, Ellen Busybody, uh, something about creature tokens? Can't remember. Coffee. Um, uh, Next one, please. Feldorn, Dread Wolf Herald. Uh, casting things from exile makes you wolves. Uh, I think, is that only once each turn or something like that? You also have some kind of a way to get additional card advantage, some impulse draw. Like, I can't remember what exactly that is. Niall, uh, this one's another one of those bad domain ones where it's like, oh, you have a two color commander domain. Uh, maybe like get something off the top. Maybe like a land or a creature, maybe. Shorakai, uh, pay one, tap, uh, discard, or draw, draw two, discard one, make a pilot. Uh, and also it's got crew eight and it's an eight eight. Cool. Uh, Nashi Moon Sage of Scion on Ninjutsu. When it hits uh, an opponent, you like exile the top card of each player's or each opponent's library, and you can cast them uh, with life instead of mana, I think. Or cast one of them. Rotarian. Uh, oh no. Uh, this one like drains based on. No, or you make like a number of tokens based on draining or something like that. Laziel, uh, you get additional counters on your things, I believe, essentially. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it with background, too. Uh, background as well, not background, too. <laughs> uh, Perkrag, um, you care about goading. Uh, whenever creatures attack players and they're not supposed to or something like that or whatever, you're forced, or forced to, you get stuff. Uh, Stormrunner, uh, you can cast things at instant speed, flash speed or something like that. You cast sorcerers at flash speed, maybe? Something like that? Yeah. Uh, uh animator um you get like counters on your artifacts and then you can also turn them into creatures as well or temporarily turn them into creatures as well uh toad rider uh cast an enchantment get your toad uh your toad can train players whenever you're casting enchantments also you can make like a frog unblockable or something so cool uh Traz and the infinite broken uh basically whatever that one oozes uh essentially but for artifacts so yeah basically this has all the abilities of artifacts in your graveyard yeah i think that's basically it Oh, uh, <laughs> holy fant. Um, it's an elephant. <laughs> Try coffee. Okay. Uh, I cannot remember all. Maybe something with rogues? Mm, parties. Um, <laughs> allies. I don't know. Namada makes saplings. I can't remember exactly how or why you're making saplings, but you're making saplings. Yeah, you could probably sacrifice them too. Kosai, Pendant Warlord. Um, this one cares about being like equipped and also having an aura on it. And maybe also having a counter on it. And when all that happens, it's pretty, pretty hard to deal with. Uh, Tsuchi, Blazing Sky. Uh, when it dies, you choose two or you choose one of two. Either, I think, is it Impulse Draw until your next turn? Or you get like three treasures, something like that. Car of the Betrayer. Uh, basically, uh, whatever that one two mana red creature is. Uh, when it, when it changes uh, players, you draw uh, that player draws two, essentially. If it gets hit, it prevent damage to leave it. Um, oh, gosh, uh, Rashad. No idea what you do. Creature tokens, maybe? You care about those? I think every single time I see a white crow commander, I don't know. I'm like, creature tokens. Zelix, Sandy Flare, something about mill. Uh, it doesn't double up on mill. Uh, does it punish your opponents when you mill them? Queen, um, cares about creature tokens, I'm pretty sure, on that one. Uh... You get an additional token whenever you make a creature token. Only happens once each turn. Something like that. Um, Yojo Blooming Dawn. Uh, oof, uh, indestructible counter when it's cast from your hand. Uh, remove it to make a token for each permanent you control. Uh, Ghost Shit Dive Ancient Wars deals damage. Base number of shrines you have, maybe? Yeah. Coffee. Red Terror. No idea. Uh, oof. I do not know. I literally do not know this one. 
I'm pretty sure I did an episode on it too. Alora, Mary Thief. Uh, uh, and I think it's an uncommon commander. The background, she's a background. Uh, maybe this one uh, gets through on opponents, I would assume. Unblockable. Uh, Burrico's party leader cares about uh, your party. Uh, drains on attack based on the number of party members or something like that around those lines. And maybe does something else. Yeah, I think that's right. Rada, another one of those bad domain commanders. Um, domain plus X plus X for X is the number of uh, uh, lands you can, or yeah, types of basics you control. Yoshimaru cares about when legendary permanents come into play, gets a counter on it, uh, has partner uh, as well. So there you go. I'm pretty sure that one's pretty close. Yeah. Yoshimaru. Uh, Goro Goro, uh, pay red creatures you control get haste in the line of turn. Uh, pay three red red uh, makes a drag five five flying dragon or whatever you attack with a modified creature. Old one eye uh, poof, six six coming to play with a five five or whatnot essentially and creatures you control trample. I think it does something else too on top of that. Um, Gale Water Deep Prodigy. Ooh, uh, something about instants in your graveyard and like storing them up or something. Instant stores in your graveyard stores them up and you can use them or something like that. Uh, ooh, entertainer. Do you care about rolling dice? No, you don't. What do you care about? I don't know what you care about. Coffee. Raph, whether it's sword. Uh, whew, something about like when you cast an source, you can like tap two creatures, and if you do, you scry one or something. Something along those lines. Myojin, another one of those doesn't get an instructability count unless you cast it from your hand. Uh, you can copy a spell three times by removing that indestructibility counter, essentially, I think. Oh, another one of the really bad partner commanders. Um, I think it's partner. No, it's not a partner. Is it a partner? No. Uh, tax Samurai. Uh, no. Or you get like a, you get like an artifact out of your graveyard or something. Uh, Belisarius Call. Nope. Kind of like Grand Arbiter. I don't know. It looks like Grand Arbiter. Kind of, kind of in a re weird way. Not sure. Uh, Immo and Myst Mystic Trickster. I don't remember you actually being a commander. So there's that going for us. Oh, okay. Uh, Durnan of Yawning Portal. Uh, whew, I think like a tax and you get like a creature off the top of your library or something like that in your hand or something around those lines. Has background as well. Oh, gosh. Uh, you get token copies of legendary creatures that aren't legendary. Uh, so you can then copy them again with other things as well. So yeah, when your cre legendary creatures die, you get a token copy of them, I think. Um, Yoshi Grim Betrayal. Um, basically, uh, oh gosh, uh, whatever the one is where you get all the creatures out of the graveyard into play under your control when you remove that indestructibility counter. Uh, Goshen Die Balance Figure. Uh, uh, pumps a creature. Oh, gets counters on a creature, I think, based on the number of shrines or something like that. I'm pretty sure something along those lines. Oh gosh. Uh, not sure. Cares about humans. Let's go with that. Plus one plus one to humans, maybe? Uh, maybe can sacrifice humans for benefit. Uh, Mer Mer Merchant of Marvels. Something to do with artifacts. Probably has background. No, it doesn't. Yeah, probably has background as well. Let's go with that. Something with artifacts background. Cool. There we go. Dahada. Oh, gosh. Uh, makes opponents sacrifice. No, or you can like get like a kind of weird counter on something and then like gain control of it or something like that around those lines. Maybe sacrifice too. Rith. Oh, gosh. Uh, ward 2 to all your dragons does something else. Maybe makes dragon tokens for some reason. Water. All right. Mildred Roaring Blades. Uh, remove, deal uh, 7 damage divided as you choose. 7 damage 3 times. Yeah, three, 7 damage 3 times to uh, whatever 3 things. Konama. Uh, cares about modified creatures. They have trample. And also, whenever you get through on an opponent with a modified creature, you go search for basically, basically rampant growth, essentially. Deathleaper, um, I think Flash, uh, enters the battlefield, creatures you control with, uh, first strike or double strike, uh, or no, something about creatures with Flash get double strike, or something like that. Vol, uh, taps for her toughness, I think, uh, also back, background, maybe, maybe, uh, taps for her toughness, though. Uh, Jericho Thalion, uh, makes Kabu, they're all colors, uh, can get counters on two creatures based on the number of colors that they are. And then also can get uh, a, um, a multicolor spell back. Uh, Revise the Claw. Uh, you care about dragons. Clearly, uh, taps for two in combination of colors for dragons. Maybe in something else about dragons. Go Shintai. Uh, enters, make a 1-1 one, one shrine. Uh, also, whenever any other shrine enters, I think you make a 1-1 one, one shrine. A non-token. Uh, and also, you can pay five and tap to get an enchantment back from your graveyard and play. Uh, Kura. Dies, choose one of two. Oh gosh, get three lands in your hand from your library, any three lands. And the other one is not as good, so I don't remember what that one is. Uh, Gyrison Sarn, basically whenever you're pinging things for one, Gyrison's gonna deal additional two to that. That's essentially what this one does. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close. 
on that one. Volo, oh gosh, makes a book. And then whenever a different creature type uh, comes into play, you get like a counter on the book and you can use it to draw, I think. I think. Jensen, um, whenever you cast a multicolored spell, you scry one. And if you cast a five colored spell, you get a four, four flyer, maybe? Flying angel, there's an angel behind him. So I think let's go with that. Rona, what do you do? I can't remember. All I remember is people were like, that's not what this commander is supposed to do. Uh, hmm, something to do with artifacts? I don't know. Myojin, uh, remove counter, get eight uh, counters distributed, a plus one counter distributed, and those creatures get trample, I think. Essentially, you get counters on. Uh, ooh, Jukai Visionary. Uh, ooh, da, 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 uh, something about activating return to your hand, getting a land into play or something like that. Around those lines, you can also channel it, I believe. Inquisitor Eisenhorn. No idea. Not sure. Mm -mm. Don't remember. Mm -mm. Uh, Safana. Also don't remember. Yeah, uh, maybe getting stuff back out of your graveyard. Maybe artifacts. No idea. Maybe background on this one, too. It looks like it's from d and I'm going to say background. Uh, Shannon Sleeper Scourge. Um, gosh. Uh, whew, maybe about tokens, humans, something like that. Gosh, there were a lot of commanders this year. Rulik Mons. Now, I should really know this one. Uh, whew, maybe. Uh, goblins makes goblins. Uh, maybe something with, uh, on attack it helps you in some ways. Oh, the Dawn Sky. Uh, when it dies, uh, one of two triggers. Either get two counters on every single creature or vehicle, end or vehicle you control. Uh, and then, or you can get uh, things up the top of your library into play. Uh, Grease Fang cares about vehicles in your graveyard, gets them back into play, gives them haste. They bounce back to your hand at the end of the turn. Essentially, get one per combat, essentially. Yeah, I think that's right. Lucius the Eternal. Uh, when it dies, you like get a counter on a creature or something like that. When that creature dies, then this comes back. Something like that. Uh, Sirvok Deathbringer. Um, opponents lose life when something happens. I think. Maybe. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Golden Wind. I think this is the Griffin Commander. It looks like a Griffin-ish. I don't know. Uh, plus two, plus two to your Griffins. Maybe makes Griffin tokens as well somehow. Yeah, I think that's about as far as I'm going to get on that one. Shauna. Um, three, three, lifelink. Uh, end of your turn, pay X, uh, where X is equal to or less the amount of life you gain this turn to draw card. Draw cards equal to that match, uh, basically, essentially. Go Shin, I shared purpose. Uh, again, uh, Shrine. This one makes creature tokens, I think. Like, one, one... Flying little dudes, not trines, but yeah, I think that's about right. Hinata, um, spells that target, essentially for each target, they cost one less, uh, the exact opposite for your opponents, uh, so your opponent's spells that target cost one more for each of the targets, essentially. Magnus the Red, oh gosh, uh, hmm. uh, cost reduction based on the number of creature tokens you have in play, essentially, for your instant sorceries, I think that sounds about right, you can also make tokens when it hits. Uh, Shadow Heart, uh, pay one in a black tap, sacrifice a creature, uh, draw cards equal to its power, maybe? For converted mana cost, background, I think, on this too, I think. Mora, Mora the uh, Urborg Haunt, uh, whew, gets creatures out of your graveyard. Let's go with that. Yeah, drink water. Oh, okay. Zolkanar, uh, this one does like three things. Uh, on the third one, it's like give it to your opponent, essentially, or the fourth one. I can't remember what the benefits are. It's like drain, draw. Uh, okay, this one's like Ryu is essentially like... If it attacked alone, untap all samurai and or, uh, untap it or something like that. Like if it's modified or something, attack again. Uh, Ishin doubles up on attack triggers and attack harmonic on commander for all triggers, including your opponent's things as well. So yeah, it can punish your opponents on those punishing attack triggers as well. Uh, no idea. No idea what Nayim Shamrod does. Something about artifacts and graveyards or things dying. I'm not sure. Sivirus, Nightmare Speaker. Oh, gosh. Uh, whew, this one's like sacrifice something to sacrifice a couple things to get things off the top of your library or something like that or be able to cast things off the top. I don't know. Bladewing. Um, gosh, I know what the old Bladewing does. Uh, this one can somehow get out of your graveyard, maybe? I don't know. Plus two, plus two. Soul of Wind Grace uh, likes lands. Uh, discard lands do one of three things, maybe. Something like that. Oh, gosh. It's uh, again like three different abilities. Oh, gosh. Um, whew, I forgot about Infinity. Um, I'm not going to have any idea what this one does. Nope. Monoxa, no idea. I'm so sorry. Drinking water. Oh, this one I remember being really bad. Uh, Katos, Silent Spider. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you get some kind of a trigger that's not really all that good. Oh, gosh. 
Prowl. Okay, yeah. The Transformers, I'm definitely not going to get because that was just like forgotten by everyone. It was the Wizards like, look at these cool things. And everyone's like, what? Uh, Viconia, Drow, Apost... Uh, state. Um, I'm just going to go with Dranger Opponents for something and also Background. Let's go with that. Yeah. Kadrick, Soul Kindler. Oh, gosh. Uh, can make token copies of creatures you control when they... Not when they die, but when something happens or whatnot. Oh, is it legendary creatures? They're not legendary. Uh, Sten. Sten cares about uh, instant sorceries costing one less. Or no, instant sorcery or artifact costing one less when it enters the battlefield. You choose one of them. And I think it does something else that doesn't really matter all that much. Most Dangerous Gamer uh, opens attractions on ETB and uh, attack, I think. And also, whenever you open an attraction, like you drain an opponent or something around those lines. Naomi, Pillar of Order. Um, creature tokens. Background. Not sure. No, not background. This is Kamigawa. No idea. Ratchet. No idea. You're a Transformer. No idea. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sorry. Drinking water now. Okay. Amber Grisolomol. Um, something to do with attacking, caring about that. I remember you being pretty lackluster. I think you have background as well. Maybe when you're equipped. Uh, this one's like, uh, Vrak is like double up on something if it costs like life to pay. Essentially, you double up on... That kind of an activated ability or trigger, I think, maybe. Tatiova, uh, much worse than the other Tatiova. Uh, land enters the battlefield. Y you could choose one of your lands and make it a 3-3. Three, three. I think lands you control get like plus plus one and flying or something like that. My Rear the Magnificent, um, kind of, I think it's like Attraction Storm in a way or, of some sort, I think. Pretty powerful for attractions. Uh, something to do with that. Oh, this one's terrible. Rosona, uh, I think when it hits a player, you get like an indestructible counter on it. But it can only have one of those if it doesn't have an initial counter. And then, like, and then if you get hit, it loses it. Jetfire. Again, Transformer. No idea. I, I don't know if anyone out there can name what the Transformers do. And then there's two sides to each of these, too. So, yeah, I'm just missing everything on these. Uh, Ganax. Enters the battlefield or a dragon enters the battlefield. You get two treasures, basically, uh, I think. This one might also have background on it, too. Yeah, very powerful dra dragon tribal. Peregrine Dyn Dynamo, uh, it doubles up on legendary artifacts, I think, triggers that aren't your commander. You have to activate this to do so, or like not your commander though, I think. Uh, Tori Fury Rider. Nope. Wants to attack, it's Boros, I guess. Something about attacking. Roxy, publicist to the stars. Um, Plus one, plus zero for number of attractions you have. Or stick stickers. Number of stickers. The stickers of the car. Satoru Mizawa. Um, you care about... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, my. Ninjutsu Wing. Big things out. Blightsail Colossus. Uh, Bl Blitzwing. Cruel Tormentor. Uh, yeah. Uh, Transformer. Let's drink. Oh, water. Okay. Gut. True Zilzalot. It's a goblin. Probably has background. Cares about sacrificing things? Maybe makes you goblins or something? I don't even know where this came from. Emperor Mihail II. Something with Merfolk. Let's go with that. Plus one is one to Merfolk. Let's say that, okay? Oh, uh, this one's like... Uh, oh, gosh. Um, cast Incer Sorcery, make a 1-1 one -one flyer, I think. Kind of like Tallrand-ish. I think. Space, Goblins, and Family... I think rolling dice uh, essentially gets like counter, not counters, or like gives your creatures plus one to zero or something like that. Some about ro every time you roll a dice. Living lore uh, cares about sagas. Uh, you can activate to like get another counter on you know, a saga or something like that, or get one back that 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 uh, was sacrificed this turn. Uh, Star scream again, transformer. No idea. No idea. No idea at all. Okay, uh, Carlock, Fury of Avernus. Uh, this one, I can't remember if it's like gives you like an extra combat in some way. Maybe if you get through with a creature with an equipment or something like that, or it gets through. Oh, um, uh, Battle Cry one for Askinat, and uh, you make uh, a kobold whenever you target with a spell. I think it's like a heroic essentially. Erg, Spawn of Turg, uh, cares about things in your graveyard, gets larger based on them. Maybe does it have menace? I don't remember. Spinneret, uh, I think ETB opened an attraction. Something else to do with attractions, I'm sure. But I think that's that's all I got on this one. Doing better on Finny than I thought. Argus cost eternal soldier. No idea at all. Uh, you're a ghost, uh, spirit. Uh, you make tokens? You can't die? I don't know. 
Slicer. Yep, Transformers, you know the gist. I'm just gonna take a drink of water instead. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, Levan, cultist of Tiamat. Um, you have a background, I'm sure. And you care about dragons? Uh, Baru, you care about worms. You can make worms. Uh, and that's reduced by the greatest power creatures you control. I think it's like eight mana, but it can reduce down to two, essentially. Make a six, six worm, maybe five, five. Vohar, um, oh gosh. It can be sacrificed to get or to be able to recast and or sorcery from your graveyard. It does something else. I think it's with Surveil. Uh, Tuscan Whiskers, no idea. This one is escaping me. Uh, it's Infinity, so I'm just going to say something to do with an attraction. Or stickers, probably attraction. E Honda. Um, gosh, maybe can block in any number of creatures or something like that. Kind of like 100 handed one ish. Uh, yeah, Transformer. Nope. Don't know. Drink some water. Okay, here we go. While uh, you care about rolling dice, uh, whenever you roll, you can just take the higher number, or you have to take the higher number you roll, essentially. Uh, and you get a counter when you roll. Green sleeves. You care about badgers. Badger, badger, badger. Is it like landfall make a badger? Something like that? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, uh, Czar. Uh, you are another one of those really bad domain commanders. I can't remember what you do when you attack or get tapped or something like that. Something bad with domain. Something very bad with domain. Ryu. Oh, gosh. Um, you can like pay to like untap and deal damage based on something. I don't remember what you do. Blaster. Definitely don't know what you do because you're a transformer. There's a basketball in your picture, though. That's fun. Okay. Combat DJ. Uh, Aranus Gloomstalker. Ooh, you can get... I think it's like when it attacks, you can get a land from your graveyard into play or something like that. Background. Something along those lines. Oh, armor. You care about equipment based on your name. I don't remember exactly what you do when you care about equipment, but you do. Uh, background. We'll say you have background too. Probably not. No, because it's more than one color. Uh, Zer. This one can turn your enchantments into creatures uh, and then also give enchantment creatures uh, hexproof and destructible. Ken. Maybe also does an untap thing like Ryu. I think this one's slightly better than Ryu, if I remember correctly. Uh, this one's definitely Boros, like Ryu is too, and with the activation. Anyways, Cyclonus, the saboteur. I have a laser. I'm a transformer. I have no idea what I do, because I am a transformer. Yep, that's that. Uh, Halson, Emerald Arch Strud, I don't remember you at all. Uh, there's bears in your picture. You make bear tokens, maybe? Background? I just keep saying background on these. Uh, Ever-Changing Dane, I think it's like pay one, sacrifice a creature make or dane becomes a copy of that creature essentially something like that maybe let's go with that uh zimriel seraph of steel um oh gosh uh equip creature or something during your turn creatures you creature control and indestructible if like they're equipped or something like that blanca uh whenever you target it it pings your opponents i think something around along those lines i think it does something off the top of that but yeah i think if it's like heroic target ping two for each opponent flame war i uh, again transformer no idea Drinking water, getting rehydrated. Here we go. Jahira, um, your tokens can tap for a green. I think something like that. Something ridiculous like that. Also background. I think that's essentially it. Uh, General Marhalt Elves Dragon. Mm -mm. No idea. Uh, Samurai get plus two plus. No, oh, whenever creatures block plus three plus three. Bite for each creature blocking it. I think that's right. Uh, hmm. It's Hideous Singer. You steal your opponent's creatures somehow with some way. Maybe ward two of some sort. Let's go with that, maybe. Or force attacks. Force attacks. Let's go with that. Uh, Chun-Li, uh, multi-kicker, uh, Azorius. Uh, you get spells at your graveyard, essentially, and then you can, like, cast all of them or something something or other. Something around those lines. Golden Bug. Nope. No idea. Did they change Gold Bug to Bumblebee? No idea. Someone let me know in the comments below. Uh, Skanos, Dragonheart, you care about dragon tokens and background. Three, two, two dragon tokens. Let's say that. No, dragon fairies, one ones. Hazazon, uh, you can play deserts from your graveyard. Whenever a desert comes to the under control, you get two, one, one, uh, sand warriors. Uh, uh something else. Vogar, Necropolis, Tyrant. Oh, gosh. You're from, like, the Game Night product, I think. No idea what you do. Mm-mm. Something about graveyard tokens, maybe? It gets bigger. 
Dalsim. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's like when it attacks. I think it's like indestructible or something. Prevent combat damage to or something along those lines. When it attacks, you get some kind of a benefit. Megatron. Megatron. Nope. No idea what you do. Transformers. I think that's the theme of this episode. Transformers, no idea. Uh, Wilson! Oh, gosh. Oh, I should know what you do! Oh, you've got, like, four different, like, keywords. And then, like, oh, you've got background as well. I think that's basically it. World of the Seven. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, vanilla creatures get plus plus one and can't be blocked or something like that. Uh, you can tap for mana for vanilla creatures, I think. Nagi, Draco, Zealot. Oh. You reduce the cost of dragons. And I can't remember what else you do. You used to do something else with dragons, maybe? Not sure. Guile, Sonic Soldier. Uh, ooh, ooh, tap to deal damage. Yep. Go with that. Tap to deal damage. Pay mana. Optimus Prime Hero. Transformers. We don't know what we do. <clears throat> Great singing, right? Okay, here we go. Alana the Seer. Uh, taps uh, to suspend a card from your hand, essentially. Get, or just time counters, not really suspend. Uh, and then whenever it taps, you remove counters from uh, all those things. And you can basically, yeah, just cast things from exile. Jedi Ojin Mercenary. Ooh, gosh. Uh, makes tokens of some sort. Cat tokens. That's weird for Azorius, though. No idea. Uh, you care about elves. Uh, I think you like get plus X plus X based on the number of elves in play or something like that when you attack, maybe? Let's go with that. Yeah. Zangief. Um... Oh, gosh, I should know this one, I think. Oh, no. Forces upon sacrifice creatures in some way. Not sure. Soundwave, Transformers, drink of water. Running out of water. There's lots of Transformers. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, Asterion the Decadent. Uh, oof, this one combos with, like, like an opponent. Like, you can, like, target an opponent, and they, they lose, like, life, the amount of life they lost this turn. It's like an end step trigger. I think you choose one of two things. Lady of Ateria. I don't know. You get plus X plus X based on something, maybe. I have no idea what you do. Uh, Lead a Mechanical Engineer. Oh, gosh. Something weird with artifacts. Uh, whew, some kind of a benefit. Do you get, like, a little bit of card advantage, maybe, somehow? Uh, Giada uh, can tap for angels, uh, for a white, for angels, and also gets angels counters based on the number of angels that are in play, essentially, when they come into play. I believe something around those lines. Ultra Magnus. You know what that means? Drink water. That's what Transformers say. Make sure you stay hydrated, kids. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Babala Saga. Uh, something about tapping and sacrificing things, and if you sacrifice, like, three different kind of permanents, essentially, you get uh, three cards off the top. You get, like, draw three or something like that. Uh, oh, Hobby Calaria. Oh, gosh. Uh, untap your archers at your at each end step, essentially, I think. And something else to do with archers. I think that's kind of right. Preston. Oh, gosh. I just remember this one, like, combos with Feldor Guardian and, like, a blank spell. Uh, I don't remember what you do. It's like whenever a creature leaves the battlefield and your control, like, something happens. Uh, Aaron's Free Artist. I think this one can copy copied spells uh, that you control. I think that, that's basically what it is. I think it's Flash, maybe Defender as well. It's like a 0 2, I think. Something like that. Mishra, Eminent One. Uh, you make token copies of artifacts, but they're. It's like on combat. It's like a 4 4. And it's a creature. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Uh, Bane is like your opponent chooses to either have you draw a card or get a creature back to your hand when it dies. I think something along those lines. Orca, uh, creatures die, this gets counters on it, and then when it dies, you ping something based on its power, I think, something something along those lines. Let's go with that. Alondra, Sky Dreamer, uh, I think a worse Tall Rand in some ways, I think also makes 2-2 drakes, but I can't remember why or when or how or who. Anyways, Jax's Trollmaker, uh, can make token copies of creatures you have, I think. Like a, like a pay a red tap, discard a card, make a token copy of a creature you control, I think. Urza, um, affinity for artifact creatures, maybe. Uh, can make uh, a uh, 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 artifact creature at your end step. Uh, Baller, Mort of Murder. Uh, likes when your opponent's creatures die, I think. I think he can go it as well in some way. Indestructible if you've got less than half health. Uh, same thing with Banisher said that. Ramirez, uh, Two treasures ventures battlefield lose two life, I think, and something else to do with pirates, maybe. Something else to do with pirates. Uh, Bombadil Snowman cares about snow permanence. Can't remember how, why, or who. Uh, it's it's Bant. I remember that. Uh, it's a jumpstart commander. That's about all I got out of this one. 
Carmella, Glamour Thief. Uh, who? Something to do with getting instant sorcery back from your graveyard. Oh, and it can tap for mana for instant sorceries. Something like that. Tanos. Oh, gosh. Uh, it has two abilities that work together. Uh, you can make, like, copies of artifact tokens you control in some ways, I think. Make tokens out of your graveyard. Uh, Kadira cares about uh, hitting opponents. When you do, you get that many bunnies, I think. Rampits, essentially, I think. Based on its power, I don't know. Ramses. Oh, this one's like, like a takes out an opponent if they're hit by like an assassin of some sort. I can't remember. It's like a weird win condition to take out someone. I can't remember exactly what it is. Nope. Forget what you do. I think you're Merfolk tri Tribal. Plus one, plus one to Merfolk. Let's say that. No idea what you do. Don't know why I'm forgetting all the Merfolk in this, but apparently. Uh, you are Vampire Tribal. Oh, gosh. Uh, hmm. Whenever a vampire comes into play, you get some kind of a benefit, or you make a vampire tokens for benefits. Ashnod. Oh, I really should know this one. This one's like it doubles up, doubles up paid activations of some sort. I think. Oh, Commander Liara Porter. No idea. Cares about attacking. I don't know. Tokens. Boros Commander attacking. Don't know. Rasputin. Oh, worse than the old Rasputin, um, I think. Uh, can give you mana for specific things, but it's like colorless mana. God, I don't know. That makes tokens. Uh, Ashcoat. Cares about rats. Uh, when it attacks, uh, your rats get plus X plus X. Rats is the number of rats you control, I think. And also, you can like mill three and get rats back out of your grave or something. Uh, Falco Spara. Uh, you can remove a counter from a creature you control to cast a permanent or cast something off the top of your library, I think. Essentially, Sandwell uh, cares about vehicles. Um, uh, uh, if it's crewing or no, if it's tapping, I can't remember. Indestructible for some reason or gets things off the top. Council of Four uh, opponents draw more than one card a turn. You get uh, to draw a card as well. If they cast more than one smaller turn, you get a two two. I think essentially second time they do something essentially. Roga cares about uh, kobolds plus two plus two to kobolds and something else to do with kobolds. I think that's about it. Yeah. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, who drains opponents. I think this one's Orzov. Is it Orzov? There's an ability in there somewhere? I don't know. Jetmir. Plus one with zero if you've got three creatures and something else. I think not haste. Uh, plus two or plus two plus zero if you've got six creatures plus three plus zero and double strike if you've got... Uh, I, I, it hits for a lot with all your creatures if you got a lot. Farid. Something about artifacts in your graveyard. Uh, some about sacrificing artifacts for value of some sort. Let's go with that. Uh, Duke, older Raven God. Uh, whew, myriad, you give a creature Myriad at the beginning of combat, essentially, I think. I think that's basically all this one does. Yeah. Uh, Sting, Echo Warrior. Uh, it's a 3-4, I think, and it makes a copy of a of itself, essentially. You get like a 3-4 Sting to token I for some reason. I don't remember what it does exactly. Arda's Cobbler of War. Hmm. Cares about equipment, I think. Goblins and equipment. Let's go with that. It cobbles. Shoes. Lightning Greaves. Uh, Ginny Faye. This one's like you can replace your creature tokens with like a 2-2 two -two dog or a 3-1 cat or something like that. Like essentially, like if you're making a creature token, you can switch it to one of these essentially, I think. The Teenager's Horse. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I should remember this one. Uh, ooh, uh, lands. It flips. I don't know. Uh, Dino Hair uh, can double up on big activations. I think the ones that cost four or more. Also, I think it's like your activations have haste in some way, I think, or something like that. Oh, Dragon Master. Um, you care about dragons. You can search a library for a dragon, get in your hand, I think, with one of your abilities. Uh, some about punishing players for attacking you. Anti Blythe, bad influence. No idea. Something about fiends, uh, demons, something like that. I don't know. Lagrella the Magpie. Uh, oh gosh. Um, whew, on ETB, it can uh, Fiend Hunter essentially creature for each player essentially something like that. Archimandrite. Uh, this one cares about oh gosh three different creature types like monks. Oh gosh, advisors something like that. It can give them a lot of uh, plus X plus zero but based on amount of life you gain. Uh, Elminster uh, cares about the top of your library. Uh, you can make a number of fairy tokens based on uh, whatever the CMC of that was essentially and does something else. Tetsuo cares about being equipped. Uh, when it attacks, you like deal damage or cast something from your hand based on the equip cost, essentially, I think. Or the uh, cost of the equipment, essentially, I think. Or number of equipment. Mizzix Replica Rider. Uh, I don't know. Copies artifacts in some way. Replicates artifacts. There we go. Jumpstart. 
Lord Xander, oh gosh. Uh, brutal attack trigger, brutal enter the battlefield trigger, brutal death trigger. Uh, one is like sacrifice half, one is mill half, and one is oh, drain half. Lord of the Third Path. Mm. Mm -mm. Background, maybe? Uh, cares about artifacts. Other than that, I'm lost. Yep. Uh, Glunge the Bestower. Oh, gosh. Uh, you, like, choose one of three things to give to players, essentially. Like, draw a card, counters on a creature, and something else, I think. So, yeah. Gain life, maybe? Tobias, Doom Conqueror. Uh, when it dies, you get, like, a 2-2 pirate for everything that died this turn. I think it might be under your control, though. Maybe? Maybe? Weird for Azorius. Uh, Kibbo. Jumpstart. No idea. I think this one's Naya in some way. Maybe has an activated ability of some sort. Likes bananas. I think it makes bananas tokens. I don't know. Food tokens? The Shore of the Boulder. Uh, on attack, not its attack. Any of your creatures attacking, double target creatures' power until end of turn. I think that's pretty pretty correct. I had Mr. Orpheo, so I hope I get it right. Lauren, another Lauren. Uh, maybe this one's the background, Lauren. No idea. I don't know what you do. Do either of them background? I don't think either are background, actually. They're Dominaria. Never mind. No idea. Artifacts. Oh, Gorian Wise Mentor. Something on adventures. I think it doubles up on your adventures, I think. Something like that? Kind of like Lucky Clover-ish, I think? Something around that? Torwaki. Oh, gosh. Um, new castings and sorceries you can ping. I think I know that part, but it's something else. It's escaping me at this point. I don't know. Some of the equipment, maybe? Nope. Don't even remember what... Oh, maybe... <sighs> Renati Behemoth Caller. You make big tokens. Yeah, let's go with that. Big Beast tokens. You make big Beast tokens. Can't remember how or why. Agnes. Um, basically, whenever you're tagging with hasty creatures, I think you make treasures or something? I think that's right. I think. Let's go. Let's go with that. Yeah. Myral Shield of Argive. Oh, uh, no. I should know what this does. Doubles up something at your end step. Oh, gosh. Is it indestructible in some way as well? Oh, gosh. I don't remember. Jan Jansen. Uh, sacrifice an artifact creature to make uh, treasures or something like that. Sacrifice an art non-artifact creature to make something else. Clues. Something like that. Torsten, Founder, Benalia. Oh, gosh. Really big mana cost, uh, makes a lot of tokens when it comes into play, maybe? Let's go with that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Anello the Painter. Uh, instant Sorcery Souls, you have Casualty 2 or 1, essentially, in the copy. Um, when they do so, you can only do it once a turn, I think, something like that. Quaza drains an opponent whenever you cast Instant Sorcery or draw a card. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, maybe draw? No. Draw? No. Yeah, let's go with that. Drafna, oh, you can, you're basically like Team or Sabretooth, but for artifacts, I think, right? You can bounce back artifacts to your hand for just one blue, I think. So you do something else too on top of that, but that's an important part. John Renicus, uh can give your opponents, your creatures, and with counters on them, and they're goaded, I think. Uh, and something happens when they attack, you draw cards, maybe you lose life, something like that. Sorry, the Golden Sting uh, can put uh, egg counters on your opponent's creatures. I can't remember if it's on attack or something like that. When they die, you get like bees or something, <laughs> something like that, insects, flying insects. Henzi, um, gives your creatures, oh god, blitz, essentially gives your things blitz in your hand, based on, in the reduction, based on how many times it's died. Uh, Rafine, um, not investigate, what is the mechanic, uh, on attack, uh, oh gosh, is it investigate? I don't know, whatever it is. Hercule, oh, um, you get card advantage based on the different kinds of spells you cast in the turn, essentially, you get, like, those things off the top of your library, out of the top five or something like that. Uh, Kaga Shadow Archer, you're terrible. I remember that. I cannot remember what you do, though, because you're so bad. Uh, attack drain in some sort. Put yourself in danger. You have death touch, maybe. Danatha, Benalia's Hope. I hope I remember what this does. Something about equipment uh, and, and uh, auras. Oh, gosh. When it comes to play, you can get to put an equipment or aura from your hand on play attached to it. I think. Something like that. Come in, Obscure Oculus. Oh, oof. it can make one of your creatures unblockable and does something with another one. I can't remember. Like, you you surveil or something. I don't know. Uh, this one... Oh, gosh. This one, you really want low-to-the-ground evasive creatures to get through. I can't remember exactly what it does. It's like draw when creatures get through and hit your opponents some, in some fashion. Urza, Power Stone Prodigy. Um, discard artifacts to make Power Stones, I think. Something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, Corlesa, Scale Singer. Uh, look at the top card of your library. I think you can play dragons off the top and it does something else. Something along those lines. Yeah, I think. Braids. Uh, end step, sacrifice a permanent. Your opponents have to match that sacrifice, essentially. And if they don't, you draw, I think, and lose. I think. Something like that. Uh, Kit Kanto. Um, this one cares about creature tokens, maybe. Uh, plus, most one of your creature tokens, somehow? Maybe? I don't know. 
Rocco, this one uh, basically enters the battlefield. Go get any creature in your library, put it into play based on you know that X mana value, essentially, you know, that mana or less, essentially. I think that's it, basically it. Uh, Ashnod, uh, this one is bad. I remember it being bad. It's a low to the ground commander, but it is bad. It cares about artifacts being sacrificed, maybe? I don't know. Bad. Uh, how about Lozan Dragon's Legacy? Uh, ooh, also remember you being bad. Uh, uh, target a dragon, do something, something along those lines. The Raven Man, no idea. Makes Raven tokens. Makes bird tokens for some reason. Uh, something to the graveyard, probably. Uh, yeah, Raven Man. Perry, uh, you get counters or something like that based on the number of keywords or something. Different kinds of different kinds of counters on the battlefield. Then Perry gets that many plus one counters. I don't know. To lose. Oh gosh. Um, kind of stores up cards uh that go to your graveyard essentially and then when it dies you get them back i think gix um benefits players for benefits you for attacking or whenever a player attacks someone else you, you draw a card lose a life or something like that or hit gets to run opponent and something else oh yeah yeah uh villain spell mahati um treasures at the end of your turn based on number of creatures that died or something like that on your turn something like that i think i think uh shieldred um you gain two when you draw a card. Opponents lose two when they draw a card. Uh, yeah. That, I think, essentially, for the most part. Uh, Beam Tumblees get opponents' creatures out of your graveyard. Uh, and they are goaded. Uh, yeah, basically that. Yeah, tap, do that. Cool. Um, Ziadora, end step, sacrifice a creature, deals damage to any target based on its power. And then you get three treasures, I think? Something like that? Let's go with that. Next up, Felden. Ooh, um, Felden, you had a really interesting one. I think it's like you, you, whenever you dealt damage, you impulse draw that much. Or whenever it's dealt damage, you impulse draw that much. I think that's basically it. Uh, Mazzy cares about auras. I can't remember. Something about auras. Whenever you cast them or you get them back or something. I think you can keep getting them back. Uh, Squee. Uh, I don't remember what you do, Squee. I'm sure we can get you back in some way, back into play, like the other Squeeze. Uh, let's just say that. Three in red to get you back somehow. Crow's Defense Contractor uh, gets a shield counter and enters the battlefield. I think your creatures get shield counters. Or you can give out a shield counter and then like those creatures, like you can gain control of them in some way or something like that, or they can't attack you or something. Ambassador, blah, 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 blah. Mm, no idea. Gets bigger based on something. Stickers. Mishra, like Urza, I think discard uh, an artifact and, or whenever you discard an artifact, you get like red, red, but it only triggers once each turn. Kind of like Urza, I probably should mention that too, but I think that happens. Uh, Miram, oh gosh, Ward 2, flying. Uh, whenever you get, uh, whenever a dragon is battlefield under your control, you get a token copy of it. Uh, that's, and if it's legendary, it's not legendary, so very, very, very broken. Uh, Aran, Benalia's Ruin, Aaron, Benalia's Ruin. Um, not sure. Creature tokens, sacrificing them. Sacrificing creatures. Uh, Parnace, uh, you can, if you have a copied spell or something like that, you can copy, or you can copy a spell for an opponent. You give an opponent a copied spell of some sort, and you do something else. Eddie has that one, I should know it. Uh, Captain Rex Nebula, uh, basically can crew any artifact, I think, and then, or any permanent you control, any non-land permanent, and then, like, you attack with it, and you sacrifice it if it hits a player, and it deals damage. Uh, Gwenna, Eyes of, any roll. Uh, Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia, uh, you can tap for mana, two mana, I believe, but only for creature spells and something else. It untaps whenever you cast one that has, like, six power, or is it costs six or more. Mix and Boo, uh, you can make Boo, you make Boo right when it comes to players. player, is it a zero to make Boo? Some about creatures with haste or whatever get stuff. Uh, you can sacrifice Boo in a very mean way to ping someone and draw a card. Astor uh, cares about equipment, uh, getting them off the top of your library. Maybe vehicles and equipment, actually. And equip cost costs one for you or something like that, I think. Uh, Fabine, boss is confident, cares about creature tokens, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe goads in some kind of a way as well. I don't know. Scries? DK Finder Lost. No idea. Infinity, no idea. Get something out of your graveyard, probably. With that, maybe instant sorcery. Don't know. Titania, Voice of Gaia. Uh, there's a backside. Uh, there's a really big base on the number of like lands you control. You get lands out of your graveyard when this dies or something. Or no, no, when, when it transforms, you get lands out of your graveyard, I think. Minthara, actually pretty powerful, I think, for an uncommon commander. Um, gosh, what do you do? Uh, do you have ward? Do you have ward based on uh, the number of time, number of somethings experience. Baird, uh, you make creature tokens, like, very slowly, I think. Uh, you make creature tokens. Uh, somehow. Some way, you make creature tokens. Not sure how. Uh, Tivit, Tell of Secrets, uh, enters the battlefield. Uh, everyone votes. Uh, you get an initial vote. Uh, making either treasures or clues. 
Um, I think that's basically it. On attack, I think it does it too, actually. Regard the magic strings. Uh, you can uh, exile instant sorceries from your graveyard and make them into basically creatures based on their CMC, and you can cast them in some way, maybe, or something like that. I think. Uh, loyal Bodyguard. Um, this one can be sacrificed to protect your legendary creatures, I think. Maybe it also gives plus one plus zero to them. I think. Something along those lines. Uh, My Cool Lord of Bones. Oh, gosh, I should know this. A creature dies, you can basically, like, exile and make a token copy of it. That's just an enchantment, essentially. I think. That's basically what this one does. Um, Balmor. Battle Mage Captain. Uh, hmm, cast and sorceries uh, pump your team in some way. Plus one plus one, I think. I think. Something like that. Maybe. Best Soul Nourisher. Uh, cares about when one ones come into play. I can't remember exactly what benefit you get whenever. I think it's just when one ones come into play, though. Uh, you get some kind of benefit. Maybe make more of them. Yeah. Okay. My goodness. Uh, that was a lot. Uh, <laughs> I hope I did okay. Uh, yeah. Nowhere near 100%. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, how you think I did. Uh, let me know if you played the game yourself and how you did. Let me know if you think there's any person in this world that could actually get all of them. And uh, yeah. Let me know your comment. Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this episode and just on this year in general. So yeah. Let me know your comments below. And of course, as always, thanks again and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support.